Looks like Tesla is being robbed by the very company that's been labeled as Tesla clone. Uh, and Tesla is going after them legally. There's also another company that's being accused of doing the same. I'll tell you all about it coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. Of course, if this is your first time here, it's all right. I'm not mad. I'm glad you found me finally. And all you have to do really to stay up to date on all of this excitement that's going on in the world of electric cars is uh, smash that uh, subscribe button down there. So that way you won't miss anything moving forward, but most importantly, become a part of this community. Okay. I don't know if you've heard of this company, uh, Jepping Motors, and they've unveiled their uh, what's now been you know, called uh, Tesla clone. And they really don't hide the fact that they have been using some of the um, the open uh, uh, the open uh, patents that that Tesla unveiled and uh, and and just overall they're inspired by Tesla. Uh, you if you see some of the interface inside, it's like almost identical in some cases. Um, and I did do report uh, on them when they've unveiled their car in uh, the CES, not this year, the previous year. They were a little weird because they were in not in the automotive part of the area. They were more like a smart cities part of the area. And that's the report from there. A good looking car, though, I think 175 uh, mile range. I believe they're now making them in China. It's in China only. But they didn't really want to talk to me, which was kind of weird there. I tried to get an interview. I got an interview with pretty much everybody at the at the CES. And they were the only company that really didn't want to talk to me. So, um, so you know, they, I've done a couple of reports on them, and it's kind of interesting because they uh, today they've announced that they've also unveiled uh, 30 fast charger uh, locations in China, which is a lot in one day. I think they're targeting 100 or more, um, and this is specifically for their brand customers, where the place is going to be reserved and everything. So they're actually you know kicking some butt in China, but but Tesla is now saying that. Um, one of their, uh, one of the 40 people only who apparently had access to, uh, to autopilot, this is according to Electrek, that ended up copying pretty much everything from what I understand, all the files to his iCloud. And, um, this is, uh, this is the guy, this is his LinkedIn profile. Um, apparently he lives in Cupertino. Uh, this is where I grew up actually. And that's where Apple headquarters are. And funny thing is Apple has also accused, uh, Jopping Motors of, uh, stealing their, self-driving uh, software and as a matter of fact the FBI has filed charges against those people and that's kind of pending right now um, so this is not the first time they're doing it and that's unfortunate it's funny that it says we are hiring over there probably attorneys at this point right uh, and listen uh, you know innocent until proven guilty but it does look like they repeat, you know, this is not the first time uh, people have been accusing them. Now, on the other hand, I should mention that um, Tesla has uh, accused uh, a former one of the people who were working on their autopilot uh, who went to the company called Aurora um, and they filed a lawsuit and they ended up dropping it because they really didn't have anything to go by. So on both sides, there is a little bit of shade, I have to say. I hope Tesla's not going after these people just because just because they didn't like that they left Tesla or maybe left them on bad terms. But, uh, you know, let's, let's let the investigation uh, uh, figure this out. Now, Tesla is also separately uh, uh, yesterday filed uh, the similar um, legal action against a company called Zoox uh, that's also working on self-driving technology and some of the employees that left Tesla. Um, but, they're, but they're accusing them of, from what I understand, that they've tried stealing they didn't end up stealing anything in particular but they've tried stealing um now here's my concern mainly with the uh, jumping motors because th there's a much much bigger problem here and uh, before i tell you what it is i also want to mention that this video on this channel is sponsored by accelerate auto the extended third-party warranty for all electric cars including tesla model 3 up to 125,000 mile coverage only a hundred dollar deductible and you can grab another extra $100 off with an exclusive discount code specifically for you guys, my audience. So check it out. The Depending on uh, which state you live in, there is an, uh, there's a link for you to click on and go get yourself a free quote. So go ahead and do that and let me know how your experience has been. All right. So here's my bigger concern. You know, if this is true, if Jopping Motors is really hiring people who are essentially just bluntly stealing stuff from Apple, Tesla, and so forth, you know, that only that only 
you know, it reinforces the concern about doing business in China, right? And as you know, besides Tesla, there's no other company right now that that can have or has its own uh, solely owned f factory there. You have to partner up with a local Chinese company, uh, auto manufacturer, and therefore share your patents and so forth. And that's been concerned for a long time. Um, I hope this is something that really is resolved soon. Um, you know, there will be more and more and more people people, uh, really, companies uh, moving to China to make these cars. Obviously, China is really the best breeding ground for the um, automotive manufacturers, you know, making electric cars. Um, as you remember, Sandy Monroe, who was on my show, who believes that China is going to also pretty much be making most of our cars, like the, our clothes and phones and so forth. Um, so I hope this problem is resolved because this is definitely, I mean, this is just theft. And the, it looks like the guy just bluntly did it. He just, you know, I guess he kept logging back in, erasing his browser history. He just bluntly did it to iCloud. Now, because there's only 40 people with access to the code, it kind of makes me question, like, are they hiring the right people? I mean, there's always, like, bad apples, but this is this is absolutely mind-blowing if it's true, uh, which makes me want to uh, talk about positives and negatives. Let's do that right now. All right, so it's hard to find positives in this type of a situation, right? Uh, the positive would be is that obviously Tesla um, is once again leading the way in self-driving technology. Now, a lot of people say Waymo and a few others are better, and I kind of agree with that. But as far as, but, but that's a different kind of a, a, a industry, right? That's mapped out 3D maps for ride-sharing services where Tesla is more for consumers. So the good news is that, you know, if, if people are having to steal stuff that means that there's something there and it's good so just kind of validation and self-driving technology and specifically one by tesla is, is is happening and people want to have them uh now the second positive thing if i have to say that is that this is brought to everyone's attention and i hope it's really 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 public and i hope fbi gets involved in this one as well uh because this again this is on a global scale we want to we, if 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 auto manufacturing you know industry is going to be involved more and more uh, in china and it really looks like that's exactly where it's going this type of stuff needs to be taken care of um, and hopefully chinese governments and chinese court system can also get involved and make sure to punish uh, 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 manufacturers that are doing that and bluntly stealing software and, and patents from from other manufacturers, whether they're Chinese, American, or whatever. Theft is theft is I am concerned, but as we know, not all, all of those laws are up there or enforcement. So I, I I think that's a positive. Now the negatives are very very you know I mean that do I even need to say that right? I mean stealing <laughs> that's not not good not good or or as i would call it negative so i'm um, not even gonna go there because i think we kind of uh we kind of already dwelled on it enough but i definitely 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 um i i really hope this is this is resolved and this is very public and uh again i just hope tesla is not actually doing this uh as as sort of a um I for an eye kind of a thing, or just they're pissed off at the yet another you know employee that left, maybe in a not on best of terms. So uh, let me know in the comment section, guys. What, what do you guys think? What do you want this to happen? And do you really think Jopping Motors needs to really be punished this way uh, after a couple of incidents like this? If it's true, uh, looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time, and remember to stay charged.